Hi, I'm Dr. J. And I'm Rice Puffy. And today we're bringing you the latest grace from off the shelf. Roxy, what are we doing today? We are doing magic wash. Wash? Magic wash berries. <laughs> Roxy, what are we doing? We are doing magic wash berries. So these are organic. They look like acorns. They sounds do. like sounds like acorns. Uh, theoretically, this is supposed to replace 300 loads of laundry laundry detergent. Uh, it's seven containers of detergent. Uh, we found this at our local store, Ollie's. O L L I E S, not A D L I S. A all these. Uh, uh, <laughs> not only do we not know English, but we also don't know how to spell. <laughs> Welcome to the show. So it says, what are magic wash berries? And I'm going to take a picture of this and post it on the end of the video if you want to read it completely. Basically, it's... <laughs> basically, it's a... What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, supposedly this helps wash your clothes. It says, washes your clothes the way nature intended it to be done. I don't think nature wanted us to wash clothes. I don't think or... nature cares if we wear clothes. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get into this. It comes with this handy dandy box. Imagine that. We get instructions. And we also get... Smells on. Bag. Oh, don't do that. Ah. <laughs> oh. Aha, uh -huh. I can smell it from here. All right, so I'm Roxy, uh, sorry, Miss Ruby Rose has told us that she is not washing her clothes with these. So uh, it will be up to Roxy Foxy and Dr. J to figure it out. Oh, Here's okay. one out of the container. These are hollow, almost like walnut shell. It smells a lot clothes? like caulking. Uh, if you've ever... <laughs> Hot text message. <laughs> uh, if you've ever done any kind of home repair, Why is there it on smells it? a lot like caulking. There's no hair on that. Yeah. You're crazy. No, I'm, not, I'm crazy. There's, do y'all see a hair no, anywhere? Here. No. I'll show it. It's probably one of hers. Anyways, hey. There's a hair. Bye. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to read the instructions. Uh, didn't you already uh, read these? No, I didn't open You didn't? It says place four to six of the berries. Now you get two of these little bags into the bag. So one, two, three, four. Is it four to six? All right. Sure. We'll break that into five. Uh, you close it up and you just throw it into the washing machine. Or throw it your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'm going to throw them at my friends, I'm just going to leave them <laughs> outside of the package. Ah, be nice. So, uh, for this project, we... <laughs> for this project, we have a couple of shirts that either don't fit or we don't really care if they get ruined or not. Um, I will say, before we get into that, this whole box cost $5. <laughs> now, this is Ollie's price. I'm not real sure how much these run on, like, Amazon or if you can even get them anywhere else. Uh... Again, at the end of the video, I will post pictures of the sides so you can read it for yourself. If you want to. You really you don't, don't want to. Yeah, or <laughs> not. Uh, you really don't want to hear oh. me read about it. Stop. Why do you do this? Because it makes noise. It's kind of fun. So, uh, kind of two fun. things we're going to do. One, uh, we're going to compare them. All we're going to do is put a couple in the water, shake them up. Uh, if you're like us, you happen to have a HE washing machine, and HE is really particular about what kind of detergent you use because it foams up, and on HE you don't want a lot of foam because it messes up sensors, and you use too much detergent, and then it uses more water. It's a whole big to-do. Uh, so in this jar, we have two cups of water and probably about a teaspoon of detergent, and in this water we just simply have water. In this water. In this jar, we simply just have two cups of water. We're going to throw a couple of these magic wash berries into the jar. And we're going to let Roxy shake them up 
and compare how. What are you looking at me all crazy got for? Blast. We're gonna shake them up. We're gonna put two. I think two. And we're gonna put them in the water and shake them up okay. and see if we get any kind of sudden at all. If there's any kind of smell afterwards. Uh, we typically use. I don't know what detergent. I think it's extra. I'm not real sure on the detergent. So, so instead of making y'all stare at us while we shake these things up, we're going to do a little montage real quick, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so that didn't take near as long as I thought. It's probably only about 30 seconds. I may not even fast forward that. So here is our detergent. This is our store-bought detergent. Uh, still slightly blue, but really, really foamy. This is the HE, which is supposed to be slightly foam, uh, low sudsing. And Roxy, your magic wash berries. That's pretty impressive. It's fun to shake. Alright, so here it is. <coughs> Let's see what it smells like. Because that's important. Oh, yeah. I really can't smell anything. Mm. There's not a whole lot of smell. You want to taste this? <laughs> okay. First of all, first of all, I've tried soap because... Uh, Why would you try soap? No, by accident. There was a cup and it still had soap in it and I didn't think about it. Pouring water and I took a big gulp. <laughs> Alright, so uh, before we get into this... Uh, we're going to let these sit, and then we're going to destroy a couple of t-shirts. Uh, so we have a t-shirt by Roxy, which is Fierce Dance Team. That will not fit you. I bet it would. We also have a uh, wife beater. What? <laughs> it's an old tank top. Look, it's got stains and stuff on it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so we're going to change angles real quick. We're just going to put a little ketchup, mustard, and barbecue sauce. Uh, so whenever you see the camera, this is barbecue sauce. Uh, we had some barbecue the other day. Ooh, really good barbecue. Anyways, uh, we didn't film that one. But we're going to ruin a couple of t-shirts. And hopefully, through the magic of YouTube and these magic berries, we will have... Sparkling new clean clothes. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let me change this angle real quick and we'll get to the destruction. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We have Roxy's t shirt, which, if we're gonna ruin a shirt, you wanna do this? Hold on, let's do the backside. Okay. Alright, so we have a little bit of barbecue sauce. I've never tried this before. Should we all like keep it? Yeah, don't smear it across all of them. Hold on. No, I want like a straight line. No. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> so Roxy's going to put a little ketchup on there. We're going to rub this in. What are you doing? <sighs> Fine then. <laughs> this is very satisfying. All right, and... So we have a little what? RF and a little happy face, or, oh, I got some on me. Uh -huh. All right, so uh, to save a little time, let's do this. <laughs> so now you see it, and just like magic berries, no, now you don't. don't. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> so. Oh, <I> definitely. <laughs> the ketchup especially. All right, so we're going to squish this in. <laughs> That way we're not get on our <laughs> fingers. Alright. So that is completely and totally gross. This is like the ketchup. And hey, pay attention. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> so we are going to throw this in the washing machine. I'm not going to film us putting it in the washing machine. Our washing machine is a top load. Uh, you can't see in there. It's, uh, you don't want to see in there. And on top of that, once it starts going... It's locked anyways. It won't even let me show that. So, hold on. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the big reveal. <gasps> just so this? we know what we're into. Oh, yeah. That's a big bad stain there. Goodbye, good t-shirt. You told me this one didn't fit. I know, but it's right. not going to Here. 
Alright, so uh, here is the back side of my wife beater. We got ketchup, barbecue, and mustard. It smells amazing, though. Oh, yeah. It smells disgusting. And here is the back side. So we will be back right after doing some laundry. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, we went for a little hike. I changed, I didn't change clothes after the hike. Roxy went back to her pink, or sorry, red, red sweater. Uh, first, we want to show you the water. We haven't touched these since we stopped. So here is the regular detergent versus the magic berries. There is a little bit of sediment down here, but the bubbles stayed. Um, we washed and dried both of them. It took, I don't know, our washer, we put on normal, uh, just the normal wash stuff. We didn't add any softener. We didn't add anything else. It is still technically winter time here, so static is an issue. So we haven't put in anything with that. It did say on the box that the magic berries also soften your clothing. So you don't add the liquid softener as well. So first we're going to look at, which one you want to look at first? The uh, wife beater. <laughs> so I here, that. I just because that's what white trash wear. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, so uh, we put that on the back side, correct? So here it is. I am not seeing anything. Do you see anything at all? Mm. Or did we put it on the front side? Either way, I don't see anything. Either way, I, it does not appear to have anything. There's a lot of wrinkles, yeah. but that just may be the fabric. Hold on, we're not done with this yet. Uh, it does seem to, ah, hold on. Look, on camera, you can see it. Look, oh wow. man, look at that. Funny, here, we can't see that. Okay. I can only see it on camera. I can see a little bit, but not much. It's just a mess here. It just smells, okay, I'm just like nothing. Looks it smells like clothes that have been in storage, doesn't it? A it's little not, bit, but doesn't it have that, like... It's not musty. Yeah, just like clothes have been in storage, there's no fragrance to it. There's no overwhelming. It does say, though, that uh, they're very good for hypo gel. Hippo? Hippo? No, not hippo. <laughs> yes, it's very good for hippos. <laughs> that it's very hypoallergenic. Uh, people that are allergic to certain detergents and stuff. Oh. Uh, so let's get to your fierce team. This is the back side where we stained it all up. Here oh. we are seeing, you know what, on camera, we can see a lot more than what that shows. Uh, you can still see the mustard. Wow, you can see that pretty good. You can see the mustard, but outside of that, I'm not good. seeing any ketchup and barbecue sauce. barbecue sauce. But the mustard. I will say this on camera, though. On camera, you can really tell a big difference. The mustard, though, it stands out. It doesn't smell like mustard. It doesn't smell much like anything. I would say if you're going to use these, I would definitely do a pre-wash. It does smell like a little bit like diarrhea. I think if you were to do this, I think it does a good job of cleaning. Yeah. Uh, it's, if I had to guess, it's probably mostly the water that's doing the cleaning. Uh, if you did get mustard or something on that lines, a pre-wash soak and scrub would probably do it wonders. Of course, we were just testing to see whether or not it worked at all. Uh, we'll probably use this product for my work clothes because I particularly don't care a whole lot about my work clothes. Uh, as far as it being softer, I think it feels about the same. I don't know it's anything big. I don't know it's any static. Which is good, but... Now, there are a lot of wrinkles in these, but they did sit in the dryer for a while. Uh, we washed them, and then we dried them, and then we went for a little hike. So it's already wrinkled on this one. Well, it shouldn't, shouldn't be any wrinkles after we wash it. Yeah. So... As far as whether or not I would buy it again, uh, no. probably not. Uh, it's not to say that I won't use what we bought. Would you get the box for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, overall, all in all, if you are really worried about natural and detergents and all that kind of stuff, it's a good alternative. I think it would work well if you could figure out a way to prevent... Things like that. If you're looking for just everyday dirt, uh, yeah. everyday dirt and grime, uh, random, you know, just 
everyday wear and tear. Uh, if you happen to get something like... Well, it probably won't affect your tears and your shirt, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm just saying like an everyday detergent. Yeah. If you're looking for something just to get it clean, uh, your sheets and whatnot, you typically... I hope you don't have mustard stains on your sheets. <laughs> If you're looking for something along that lines, this would probably work out pretty well for you. Again, like I said, I will put these pictures on the end of the video so you can see exactly what it says. Oh no. It's good. It's good. Would I buy it again? No. no. It's five dollars. It was worth a video. We really like sharing new stuff with you people. Yeah. And enjoying ourselves. I do want to brag on uh, Miss Roxy here. Roxy, yeah, she didn't know I was going to do this. Roxy does an amazing job. Uh, Roxy helps out with the videos. <laughs> Would you stop it? She has grown into a fine young lady, and if you need a girlfriend, please call 55... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah more. Anyways, Roxy has grown into a fine young woman, and... Oh, we are doing this for family time and for enjoying new because Roxy someday will move out and have her own show. What have you did that thing? I don't know. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to brag on Roxy here. We love her and we think well, that she's doing a wonderful <laughs> We think she's doing a wonderful job. Yay! And we won't fire her today. Uh... <laughs> but she's gonna go do some laundry. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You want to do your thing? You do the laundry. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Hey, it's Rice Girls. Of course, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, of course, here on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon below. Get more videos like this. Maybe even better. And longer. Stick around for those pictures. And Big.